So I can show you around, tell you a little bit more about the building. Um, here, this building was built and in, in, uh, completed in 1738. I might have mentioned it in the last program. It is a timber frame building. It was located on the other side of the uh, burying ground. However, the building has been in continuous use since it was built and completed in 1738. Mm -hmm. It has been a meeting house for uh, town meetings and religious meetings. It's been a courthouse. It's been a, uh, classrooms for, for the school. It's been recreation. Uh, <laughs> town offices were here in the town library started somewhere in this building too. Mm. And right now it is purely a museum, both for first and second floor. And why don't we get started on uh, some of the exhibits here, okay. if you'd like. We have uh, exhibits of uh, what people have given us from the, the local farms. Most of this uh, was actually tools that people used on their farms right here in Salem. Mm. And like, like uh, the uh, harness, horse harness and saws and whatnot. People gave them, and we, we developed this exhibit, so we have quite an extensive set of early tools. Circa, what would you say is the earliest you have here? Oh, 19th century. Oh, wow. So most yeah. of this is 19th century, maybe early 20th century. Right behind you is a, a blacksmith forge that was taken from oh, Salem. Yeah. So not only did we get the forge, uh, we also got the blacksmith's yeah. collection of tools. Right, right. In there, I, I believe is, wow. if you can get this, read it backwards, this is a branding iron that says Salem. This was used on, on marking, we're not quite sure whether it was used to mark animals or whether it was used to mark items that the, the blacksmith made or the carpenters right. made and they burned the name Salem in the back. Sort of like a copyright, huh? That's a copyright, <laughs> that's a Salem copyright. <laughs> on the wall behind you, yep. another interesting collection this collection is, uh, well, these are the tools that were used in Canopy Lake and, and uh, other ponds around here, mainly, mainly Canopy Lake. Electricity wasn't available until the 20th century, basically. Uh, and refrigeration was something that wasn't uh, available, electric refrigeration, so they used ice boxes. Everybody knows that, like, like I've shown in these. Oh, yes, right, this, right. This picture right here. So where did the ice come from? Well, it came from Canopy Lake, they, which they uh, harvested in the wintertime. <laughs> and there was actually an ice house where they brought the ice in and, and stored it in the building. The building had very thick walls, and the walls of the building uh, was, were insulated with sawdust. Wow. So you built, you built two walls, and in between you put sawdust, and that, that formed the insulation. And it, Ice kept most of the That's summer, nice believe it or not. When, was, when are these pictures taken? Uh, these are taken uh, earlier in the 20th century, probably in the 30s, right, 40s. Right. They, they used these, the ice all the way up into the 40s. Picture down here okay. of, of the man cutting the ice. Uh, you, you notice the tongs and the... Oh, yeah. And the, and the uh, saw? Well, that's, <laughs> these are the tongs. And that's the saw. Well, we have a uh, bookcase full of a, a lot of different hand tools that, that we've accumulated. We've got things that uh, you would find on a farm, some odd, odd pieces. That, this is a, a model of a printing press that somebody gave us. Looks like a, a patent model. Hand, hand augers. Oh, yeah. Like this. and and. This is one for making holes in, in posts. You okay. would use two hands on that. Still could use that today. Well, yeah, I suppose you, you can use any <laughs> yeah. of this stuff today, but anything you get from Home Depot is probably going to have electric or battery. Right, on. exactly. I see bottle caps. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, actually interesting. This would be a kitchen item, really. Bottle caps. And this is the capper. What you do is you put the bottle down there. And uh, you put the bottle underneath, put the cap on the bottle, and boom, take that out. <laughs> well, that's uh, neat. That's neat. 
the um, then by your feet here. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. In case you didn't right. know. Yeah, that. I better move aside just in case. This, we inherited this cannon. I'm not quite sure where, where it came from, but this is a ceremonial <laughs> cannon that we we uh, got here in our collection. We we got it on wheels so we can move it around as right. we pick up more items to display. It gets moved around. Have they used it at all? No, okay. not since. Not since Do I you have it. an idea how old it is, though? Probably, uh, oh, I would say it's at least 100 years old, if yeah. not much older than yeah. that. Yeah.